News 24. We're coming to you live from our news hub at the Ghana Institute of Journalism, Abdul Gamana Saroda Car. I am Grace Barbafman. Now let's take a look at our headlines. In our first story, the Women's Commissioner of GIJ is calling for accountability for SRC accounts. And also GIGEC drills as crimes this week. And lastly, commotion hits General Assembly meeting. In our first story, GIJ's General Assembly meeting yesterday turned all dramatic after a tussle ensued between Speaker and some members of the House. Campus News 24 is learning that the meeting was over the summoning of the Women's Commissioner to answer questions related to an amount of 5,000 Ghana cities she received to organize the Women's Week celebration, an amount which is lesser than what GA approved in the last meeting. Now, my colleague Swazi was at the meeting yesterday and will be joining me in the studios for more on the stories. Well, hello Swansea. Hello, Grace. How are you doing? Thank you. Okay, you were at the meeting yesterday. What more do we know? Okay, so we know that the meeting, as you said, was summoned by the General Assembly so that the Financial Secretary and the World Women's Commissioner. I mean, the money that they were expecting that they didn't get, I mean, they clarify issues on it. And subsequently, as the deliberations went on, um, Honorable Zappo Mubar was on the floor making making his state, making a statement and the speaker apparently wanted to say something but simply he, he, he didn't allow the speaker to do so and tempest raged and as friendly the speaker got angry and barged out of the house. Oh, there were rumors that he actually walked out leaving his clothes behind. What do we know is that? Um, what, how true is that? Sir? Yes, um, he actually walked out and I mean, Removing his cloak, I mean, showing that the meeting was over. And so I think that even went on to affect the number of uh, members who came back to the house when the house reconvened. The numbers that were there, I mean, the second part of the meeting was way lesser than that as it was earlier. So, how did these all end up in? So, apparently, the General Assembly saw a visitor yesterday who appears to be a former member of the house by name, Honorable Ayan. And he actually helped make some make some clarifications. Part of the things he was saying was that there was no need in the first place for the general, the financial secretary, and the women's commissioner to have such an issue. Saying that if there was any issue, we should they should have been able to sit at a meeting amongst themselves. I mean, at the executive committee level and bring everything. So the general assembly, the, the financial secretary, should have presented the budget that included that of the women's commissioner, but that was what came under con uh, contention at the very first sitting this semester, which had to, uh, which led to the point where the women's commissioner had to present her own budget plus expenditure of what they did in the office last. So, I mean, in the end, uh, the final resolution was that they both sit down again and look at how the issues really are and come to, quote and unquote, a compromisation of the issue. Not to forget about the fact that they earlier held a press conference which sought to um, call for a proper auditing of the SRC funds, at least that students or I mean, all involved would get to know who and um, I mean, how our monies were spent I mean, during her administration. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so that was Swansea on the proceedings of the GA meeting. Now let's take a look at some videos from the meeting. trying to get the speaker's attention that look, we are not talking about a subsequent GA meeting, we are talking about now. This general assembly meeting, we are here, maybe we didn't do it then, we want to do it now, to give us the room to do it. And the point he is trying to make is that we are going forward in our next meetings, we will try and do that. But, which other next meeting there is? He was trying to come you down to wait for him to make his point, but he just didn't back. Well, I, I, he, he didn't make his point, he said subsequent GA meetings and and subsequent GA meetings telling us that we in our next meetings. That is not what we want. We want to address the issues now. I went to that extreme and I was outlet from today. And this thing is never going to happen again. I sincerely apologize. Notwithstanding that we as honorable members should also know as part of the standing orders of the house, whenever you are talking and I interject, should stop talking and listen to whatever I have to say. Even if it's nonsense, 
Let's listen. I'm not even talking. And now let's look at our next story. Women's Commissioner of the Ghana Institute of Journalism, Edna Boache Agnes, has started a student-led petition aimed at getting the Dean of Students to probe into the finances and structure leadership of the SRC, which makes it easy for presidents to pass away with SRC accounts. Addressing a press conference at GIJ, the Women's Commissioner said it was important for an independent body to audit the finances of the SRC to avert the growing trend of misappropriations at the helm of the SRC. In light of the issues raised and countless calls from other bodies within the SRC for accountability, I am initiating the petition to the Dean of Students to look into the financial dealings of the SRC. Then we have the right to know petition will be forwarded to the Dean of Students and will petition him for a probe into our finances and the SRC leadership structure, which makes it easy for SRC president parts without any account. Reminder, there has been no account or audit report of SRC funds for over five years. Thank you. Now for elections this year, as far as running for this year's SRC general elections, have earlier this week appeared before a five-member committee of the Electoral Commission to be vetted for their various positions. Appearing one after the other, aspirants' knowledge were put to test as they were quizzed about the various positions they aspired to occupy. Grace and Fritz were there for Campus News 24. Running for GIJ SRC elections may not come on a silver platter. Aside the hassle of raising a hefty thousand Ghana cities to file for nomination, there's still a hurdle of vetting to cross as aspirants came face to face with the vetting committee. Today's the day three of vetting of aspirants of the Ghana Institute of Journalism. We've had several aspirants who have appeared before the vetting committee. We saw yesterday the general secretaries and the women's commissioners. On Monday, we saw the external affairs commission and of course we saw the organizing secretaries. Today being day three, the presidential aspirant, the ones the back stop with, the ones who approve the policies of the other executive of the SRC. We're about to speak to some of them who've been inside. You are yet to go and face a vetting committee. How do you feel? You don't have any butterflies in your tongue. <laughs> no, not at all. Right. Um, what are your own expectations? Um, I expect to And I expect them to put in the experience I have. I also expect them to probably scrutinize whatever we put in before we find them. First off, it's, it was quite receptive. I mean, receptive enough in the sense that as long as you're prepared, then whatever comes to you, you know how best to go about it. Then moving forward, there were some hiccups or challenges I encountered. Uh, could you believe I omitted my name? Yes, that, that came up. I had to write your name. How did that happen? How could you, about, how could you have possibly lost I, I, over that? I haven't the slightest idea. You know, in the rush of, of it all, a lot of factors came to play. What what your impressions? Hey, yes, I am so far so good. It was like I, I, I expected because uh, when you listen to or you follow closely for two days ago, so we all expected that uh, the presidential meeting would be a bit. Some students who have been following the vetting had this to say. What do you make of the quality of questions that were being asked? Um, I wasn't impressed about the financial situation. I was 
was a business student and in terms of finance, we have a lot of questions that I was expecting from the Federal Government to ask. Especially, you can't be a financial student without knowing how to a simple statement account. But I followed this vetting uh, with the financial secretary and I didn't see any such question. You know, about the procurement issue, I'm much emphasizing on the procurement because now it's even the government insisting on the procurement issues. You can't buy anything without a receipt. You can't buy something without passing through this procurement. But it seems they are asking this question to the presidential aspirant, of which they have to give this question to the financial secretary. The else or the presidential aspirants can move forward when this financial secretary know how to move about in the public. Now, let's think about preparing us for accounts. At the end of the semester, you need to prepare accounts. And here is the case that you don't have any knowledge about uh, suspense, about balance sheets, about um, this petty cash book. So how are you going to prepare the, uh, this account? You know? So I wasn't impressed about this financial uh, aspirant. The question they put for this financial advance. As for the president, we are on. I'm so impressed, trust me. I'm impressed with the kind of questions they are asking. Because I went there, I had lectures, but I went there to see what was going on there. And the kind of questions the, the panelists were asking the, this guy's that's parent, it was, it was so great. The EC is due to release the veteran results soon to lift the ban on campaign. Now, a report reaching us indicates that the results for the post will be announced tomorrow. Now, for our next story, the SDN TV training seminar for GIJ students has today come to an end with a final training session and an open talk with its moderator, Abraham Jablati. Now, the training session, which took place over the course of six weeks, aimed to equip students in a field of television, presentation, video editing and camera handling. With today being the last day, some students share their experiences on the six weeks course. I think this um, workshop has come a long way to benefit to me or help me. So as an individual person, personally, coming into this I had no idea of video editing. Oh, and you know, the yeah, media so I wasn't working in the media field. So there wasn't really this kind of skill. So I just see it as my ST so much for bringing this workshop because it really helped me have lots of knowledge and the skills where I can also be part of my workshop after I've completed the you know, GIG wherever I go I might find myself in any kind of institution where we require this kind of skills. And that is where I'll exhibit them or I'll exhibit what I have learned in my life. So I think that's a really benefit. The STN TV workshop has been wonderful. The six weeks of training has been so amazing. And I entreat you all to uh, register anytime in the campus because it's full of practicals. And then you get um, you get another time to know some uh, techniques and outside what has been taught in class. It has been a successful one. More uh, we are expecting more in the, in the future. And this week we've learned so, uh, so much, a whole lot of which um, I think will become will be handy. It will become handy one day when we are in the job so that I want to entreat others who would love to um, join this program to come on board next, when next we arrange for one. Thank you. Now let's do some entertainment. The search for 2019 phase of GIJ pageantry is already on as 16 ladies have been selected after an audition held at the Institute of Journalism. Now the ladies are expected to undergo grooming as they compete on the actual night of the events later in April. Interested students were taken through the borough of an audition to determine who is best fit to make the cut for this year's beauty contest. Miss Communicator, which was metamorphosed to phase of GIJ just last year, will be looking to find a new queen. The reigning champion of last year's event, Miss Khadija, will be looking to hand over the crown to another student. This year's event is, however, gaining more popularity among students because of the controversies surrounding the Office of the Women's Commission and the Financial Secretary. And there are issues raised concerning the source of funding for this year's event. So in search for a new queen, there is also a big search for money for this year's face of GIJ. Well, that's all for today, but before we go, let's take a recap of our headlines. We brought to you a story in which the Women's Commissioner 
4 GIJ is calling for accountability for SRC accounts. GIJ EC drills aspirants for the various portfolios. And lastly, Commotion has GA meeting where we talk to our correspondent Swansea on the story. That's all we have for you today. This is Campus News 24. I am Grace Babakman. Have a nice day.